Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JMO Reacts. I'm Jonathan, and today I'm going to be reacting to Star Wars The Clone Wars Episode 7. Last time we had Anakin, Ahsoka, uh, and R2 kind of going out and saving Plo Koon and uh, the surviving um, clones that that were with him. Uh, I believe that they were the only survivors from the um, Ion Cannon attack. It's really just cool seeing, seeing Anakin and Ahsoka's um, chemistry in that episode and uh, just learning a little bit more about Ahsoka too, about her and Plo Koon and all that. So... Yeah, it was pretty dope, and I'm, I'm super excited to get into this one. If you guys would like to share your support, you can like, subscribe, or even join my Patreon. We have options for polls, full reactions, and up to two weeks of early access. Uh, we even have exclusive movies and anime over there on Patreon. Uh, that's stuff that you'll never see here on YouTube. So, yeah, if you're interested in that at all, the link will be in the description down below. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into this episode. I believe a squad of bombers can outmaneuver their eye on weapon. Our target will be the bridge and General Grievous. That's smart, actually. Having smaller, smaller... Uh, Units to, to kind of be able to avoid the ion cannon. That's smart. We destroy Grievous, we can bring the war to a quicker end. Pilots, prepare your bombers. Well, unfortunately, we know that Grievous is not going to be taken out, but maybe they'll be able to take out the ship at least. This mission. Let's ask them. Matchstick. You think our boys can pull it off? Yes, sir. There hasn't been a mission Shadow Squadron couldn't complete. Shadow Squadron. Look at all those lasers, dude. They don't even stand a chance, man. Moving to attack Doesn't even seem like that could be able to hit them from that angle. Maybe I'm crazy. Space. Fire okay, they were not just at that angle. I guess they could have turned, but... We've lost all power. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> I still can't seem to hit anything. You never can. Okay, damn. Station. Oh crap, that's a lot. I feel very confident leaving the ship under your command. You you were just disappointed in his failure last episode. Now you want to leave this in his Okay, whatever. Go after clones who can't fight back. The Rendelia system. Near Naboo. Isn't that where our medical base is? Mm, he's gonna see it coming. Okay, he does see it coming. I've contacted the Naboo. They are sending ships to help you, and I am on my way as well. Thank All right, Obi Wan, here we go. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. I hope you know what you're doing, Anakin. Well, if I don't, I won't be around to hear that I told you so. That's reassuring. <laughs> Take your. A nebula can be very unpredictable. I advise caution. Don't I don't know space, but. At least it's not like a meteor field or a asteroid field. Thanks. Of course we care, Snips. But we're still going through that nebula. <laughs> Thanks, R2. Well, I'd feel confident in Anakin ship. Now I don't know if I about the rest of them, but Anakin's that dude when it comes to piloting. We will have to move the patients in stable condition first. The more critically injured will have to wait. Unfortunately, that does make sense. I think it's so cool going through hyperspace. So hyperspace is just like when there's they have a clearing and there's nothing in their way so they can just go straight as fast as possible because they won't hit anything. I have received intelligence from Lord Sidious. The Republic has launched a small Gosh, strike force to darn it. the malevolence. I keep forgetting that they're going to literally know all their moves. Skywalker, listen to me. We need to Is there some out. sort of reputation about Bomora? We're gonna catch Grievous. Another contact. Or the nesting ground of the giant Nebra Mantis. Another? Ne what? Oh my gosh! Yo, that thing's huge. Whoa, dude. What the hell are those? No, 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 no. Someone repair that. Someone repair that. Someone repair that. Come on. Can, like, the R2 unit help? Okay. All right. We're chilling, I guess. Maybe they don't all have all... They don't, maybe they don't all have R2 units. I don't know. Oh, no. They do. Oh my gosh, that thing just got murked. 
That is so scary, dude. I didn't, they got they, I didn't realize they were just animals. I mean, I guess there was in the one Star Wars in the in the meteor, but I don't know. I don't think we've seen too many creatures out in space. That's that's horrifying. If we lose even a single ship, our mission is that much closer to failure. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried about this ship that sustained damage. I'm really worried. I thought R2 units were there to re repair. Am I wrong about that? Or are they more navigation? Target the transports first. Ah, you dick. Shadow 2, your speed is dropping. What's wrong? Oh no, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. You can make it, Matchstick. Hang on. Damn, dude. Wow, that's what three of our ships gone. Shadow six, seven, and ten were caught in the ray. Okay, but they're not dead necessarily. They're not dead. We need a new plan. We can make it, Ahsoka. Hang in there. I'm thinking she might be right. I don't know what plan. Watch those towers, boys. There are a stupid amount of freaking cannons on this ship. So much for minimal casualties, man. She's got a point. If we can do enough damage, the weapon may overload when Grievous tries to fire. Okay. Come on, Anakin, you got it. New target. We're taking out the starboard ion cannon. Alright, that's smart, that's smart. Take out the ion cannon, yeah, they're not nearly as effective. Because you still have your shields. Come on, come on, Get come on. Away. Is that enough? Come on. Oh, it blew itself up. Let's go. Is that the whole ship? No. Dang, dude. It took out the whole ship, huh? Looks like it split it in half. I don't know why that wasn't the plan to begin with, but... Yeah, that's awesome. That's that's a great, great shout by Ahsoka. The hyperdrive has been disabled. Ooh. Hyperdrive isn't disabled, they can't escape. Ah, uh, yeah, and Obi-Wan's on his way. Let's finish what Anakin started. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, you got three ships now that can't be, the shields can't be taken out of. With what, brother? I feel like you should be screwed, right? I believe it was my Yeah, it was. It was. From a certain point of view. <laughs> Don't want to get a big head, huh? He is one of a kind. Got that right. I like that shot. I don't know why. I really like that shot, though. All right. That was episode seven. Um, yeah, so they ended up completing the mission, although, you know, not without some casualties. I think they lost two in total, like two ships, so four total, because I think the other ones were hit by the ion, ion cannon, but I don't think they were destroyed i could be wrong about that yeah so ahsoka kind of had her chance to shine here i mean she was right the you know anakin could get there and with his you know jedi stuff but you know the others were were dropping and uh they ended up changing their their uh their target which you know i guess i kind of understand why that wasn't their first target just because they were trying to take out grievous but you know why not take out the cannon first and then go for grievous you know what i mean i feel like that would have been the better plan but whatever um now it will be one of the three in the three sh the three uh warships are after i feel like that should be it for i mean i know grievous somehow survives because of the movie movies but uh i don't know i i feel like just logically they should be screwed because their hyperdrive is broken right and they have no ion cannon so um in theory they should be screwed but I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's kind of crazy seeing those weird nebula creatures. I, I mean, we saw the one thing in the in the movies, the one in the meteor field or the asteroid field. But I, I don't think we've ever seen anything else besides like the creatures, you know, there. But yeah, man, that was that was scary. That was legitimately scary. They're like big space whales. Um. Yeah, I, I just didn't think that that would be a thing. So I'm curious if we're going to see any more, you know, just extraterrestrial life 
like i mean life i i mean like like animals i guess i consider them more animals creatures um because that that was that was actually incredibly scary just those things just chilling out in space just ready to eat whatever that that was that was that was that was scary but yeah uh that that was the episode and i'm assuming we're going to continue on to see what happens with malevolence after after this episode um hopefully it gets taken out i know grievous will survive but i mean hopefully the ship will be taken out they've already taken out the weapon which is a big plus but they can always repair that so they do need to take out the ship and and, and as a whole to really take care of the threat so i guess we'll see what happens uh yeah if you guys enjoyed it that like button down below and comment suggest what you might want to see me back to next with that being said i will see you guys in the next video